Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kelly. It is almost fall, which is why I did this fall inspired look today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see how I got this final look, then keep watching. I picked up some new Too Faced products and they came out with this pumpkin spice palette that I decided that I just had to try and I wanted to film a fall tutorial with it. And so here is the Too Faced palette. So here's the palette right here. It is super cute, fun fall colors. I'm really excited to try it out. Of course, you guys know Too Faced, um, Too Faced palettes usually come with a mirror, so that's always a plus. I'm actually not into pumpkin spice, but this palette smells really good, and I'm happy I actually purchased it. Like, it's not too pumpkin-y, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's not too overwhelming. This is Too Faced's newest foundation and it looks like this. I got it in the shade Honey. I'm super excited to try this foundation also. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the eye. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting off with an eyeshadow base here and I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow base. I bought this one um, especially for this video. I wanted to make sure that I was getting enough payoff from this um, palette because I wasn't sure how pigmented it would be. So I thought I'd go in with an eyeshadow primer instead of concealer this time. So now I'm just going in with um, the eyeshadow, my first um transition color basically. And I just want to say, you guys, the key to a really, really good eyeshadow look is to keep blending you guys know i say this all the time blend 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 until your little hand cannot blend anymore i promise you it will pay off the reason why i'm telling you guys to blend and the reason why i say this on my channel so much is because if you guys just keep blending you won't see those harsh lines sometimes you can look at other people's makeup and you notice you might see like harsh lines and it just doesn't look the same if you want like a flawless eyeshadow look your main key to any eyeshadow look will always be to blend blending is definitely a technique that i personally have to learn and i'm actually still learning you know when to blend when to stop blending how to you know use shades that go with each other that's something that i'm still working on so i'm definitely not here to tell you that i'm perfect at blending my eyeshadow by far like that is not what i'm here saying but i just know that blending is a technique that you definitely need if you want to create a really nice eyeshadow look. So here basically what I'm doing is adding a little concealer to my lids. I'm going to add this concealer to both eyelids and basically the reason why I want to add this concealer is because I want the color that I'm putting on my eyelid which is going to be like a bright orange color. I want it to really pop on my lid. So I decided to go in with some concealer first and then I'm going to keep blending that out as well. As you can see, I'm really packing that orange color on my lid, and I'm going to pack it on the same way for both eyelids. Um, I just feel like if I didn't use the concealer, then that orange color might not have um, showed up as well as I want it to. And I think it would have just really just messed up the purpose of what it's supposed to be doing, which is brightening up the look. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am back and the eyes turned out so good. I am loving this pumpkin spice eyeshadow look, but I think the last thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put a little, you know, a little razzle dazzle in my inner corners. I'm gonna go in with the shade Oh my gourd. Oh my gourd. Okay, that's interesting. So it's this gold shade right here. And I'm just gonna try to brighten up my inner corner a little bit and see how that goes. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to move on to my face and I'm really excited to try this new Too Faced foundation. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. I always rave about my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and concealer. I use the um, foundation shade Mocha. I have a different shade today because I just felt like since it was matte, it might look a little bit different. 
First, I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It looks like this. So, I've actually never tried this primer before, but you know, I really like to do the whole full face of a cosmetic brand. So I try to do as much as the um, same product as possible. So I'm just gonna try this face primer for the first time. And it has a cute little pump, so. And it looks like this. I think it's so funny how all primers look different. My favorite primer is actually a jelly primer. Ooh, and it kind of smells good. All right, you guys, so I'm done priming and I'm about to go in with the foundation. Um, like I said, it is the Born This Way Matte Foundation and it's supposed to last for 24 hours. That's a huge claim. Um, I'm not gonna be testing the whole time span um, scheduling thing today because I won't be wearing this for 24 hours. There's no reason for me to wear my makeup for 24 hours. But again, this is in the shade Honey and let's get into it. I did go ahead and bust out a brand new spongy for this foundation because it's brand new. So, okay, let's get into it. Okay, this is the shade that we're working with. I'm just gonna place it on my face. Ooh. Yeah, this looks like, this looks like a really good shade. I'm not even gonna flex, like, I might have outdid myself with this shade, okay? I'm just gonna actually. Y'all, look at, look at this flawless shade, like. This is an exact match. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Who picked this color? Who picked this color? Me, I did. Y'all, I get so excited when the foundation match. It's like, when it's the exact match though, I just feel like that's so rare. I'm just gonna add a little more to this side. Wow, do I have a new, a new fave? Like. Y'all, I'm so hyped. Like y'all don't understand when the foundation match. Look at, look at this. Y'all, this match is perfect, like absolutely perfect. Come on, y'all, look. It's definitely giving me skin vibes, like, y'all see this? I'm gonna just put a little bit more on, just cause I'm excited, y'all, like, this is, I'm excited! Like, how did they do this? Better yet, how did I do this? Because I'm the one who picked this shade. <laughs> Y'all. This is flawless coverage. And I love that it's matte because I get really oily. So... When I get a foundation that's not matte or doesn't claim to be matte, I'm scared off rip. Like I'm always scared because I know like if I'm gonna go out and be out and about, I'm gonna be greasy. So for this to be matte, I'm excited. I love. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So to my knowledge, they did not come out with a new concealer. So I'm gonna go in with the same 
Born This Way Concealer, the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. And it is in the shade Sand. So basically what I'm about to do is just do a little highlight. I don't think I need much. I'm just gonna highlight a little bit underneath my eye. And that's it. Concealer looks fabulous on top of the matte foundation. I was kind of worried because I was like, uh, is it, you know, is it a different formula? Like, how does that work? But it looks like it blended in with no issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that. I'm going to set that concealer. Now, Too Faced does have a setting powder, but I didn't purchase it, which I probably should because I'm pretty sure it's really good, but eh. Now that I set my under eyes, now I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, Matte Bronzer. This is a really good bronzer. I use it. Um, I use this bronzer all the time, so I'm just gonna use the same one. I have it in two different shades, but I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade today, just because I don't want my foundation and my powders to get too muddy. So I'm just gonna go in with the lighter one. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in with that same Dermablend powder, and I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna cut underneath my cheeks with some powder. All right, and now I'm going in with the fluffy brush to just brush the powder away. Y'all, I look so bomb, so good. I cannot, I just really love fall, you guys. You can do so much in the fall slash winter time, especially with the layers, with the makeup. I love the darker colors. The bright colors are cool, but I think I said it before on my channel. I love looks like these. It just, it just looks better with my skin tone. I don't know what it is. You guys, I am so upset. I lost the film of adding my lip liner and liquid lipstick. I did go in with the MAC Liner Chestnut and the Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced. It ended up being too bright for my liking though, so I did add some NYX Brown Lip Cream to kind of, you know, tone it down. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this Pumpkin Spice tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you would rock this look or not.